A lot of the guests would wake up and they'd see a shadow-like figure pass through the hallway underneath the door and they would also see an apparition of a man standing at the edge of their bed while waking up in the middle of the night. I kind of opened my eyes and this gentleman walked across the front of the bed and right straight through the wall it looked like and when people ask if the home is haunted because that's a big question I get a lot I say well if there's spirits here I think I know who it is so we're, we're in good shape. If your name's William we have a device in the hallway. If your name's William, can you light that device green? No, green. Is it green? Green. No way. Green. Green. I just asked. Yeah. Look, it's green. William, on the other hand, was born in 1821 and he had moved to Virginia City in 1864. His reasoning for moving to Virginia City is that he had partnered up with two other associates, Darius Mills and William Ralston. They were Nevada agents for the Bank of California. Now what their job in Virginia City was, they would facilitate loans for all of the mines and the mills. And that is why we are going there tonight to figure out how they even got there. loud. Deep down, I know you might know and you might feel that it would be probably best if you did go to the light because it is time for you to go to the light. Our goal is to try and help you get to where you belong. I don't think you want to be here anymore. And if you do, then that's totally fine. That's okay. Yeah? Oh? Huh? Yours just ticked. Did you get that? I heard something over there, too. I got it, yeah. And, you still standing right there? Me. There you go. See? And, me. Are you still right there? Me. Me. It goes off. Thank you. That was like scratching on that wall. Really? You, yeah. Or you just heard scratching oh, on the wall? Oh, I just heard it. Me and why I heard it. It was closest to him. You scratch that again? Red. Red. Kind of a theory I've had was that maybe this is Anne's room because we only heard about Anne. I told you guys. What the that sound? Not us. Really? Yes. Like I was saying, when we heard about Anne, we were downstairs directly below here, and we got her name multiple times, and then we got her name multiple times right here. I think this is Anne's room, and we first heard the most about William in that room. It could be that's his side, and this is hers. So I think we probably should go over there. I have another question for you real quick. Who was pacing in this room? Who was walking around in here? In this room. Who was walking around in here? There was a knock right on the headboard, right behind me. Are we friends? Yes. We are friends. 
We could hear you walking around up here. That's why we came back up. My EMF meter's still going up. You reaching over to us? Reaching over to me? I think you're stepping again. Yeah. Right, right as right. I say that. Right as I said that. It's going to William's room. Why are you walking around so much? You anxious? Was that just the bed? Was that him? It sounded like the bed. Was that you that did that rip by accident? I don't know. I don't think so, but maybe. You want us to go over to that next room? Give us a sign. We'll go down that hallway. And we'll talk to whoever is in there. If that's your room over there, William, and this is Anne's room, give us a sign if you want us to come down that hallway. Is there any way you can walk in front of that pyramid again? You don't have to be afraid of us. We just want to talk to you and try to help you the best way that we can. Green. Green. Thank you very much. What? I just saw it twice. What? There's no way I see that twice. What? That little mirror right there on the corner of the wall, right to the doorway in and out, there was a real quick light shadow just once, and then as I was checking myself again. That was creepy. I have like a weirdly anxious feeling. Can you show yourself physically in one of these rooms? Pointing that way. Loud step down there. What the hell is that? Is this what it looks like? Let's do this. If you can't show yourself, how about you close that door? Is that something that would be hard to do for you? Two knocks. Do you need more energy to do it? Now. Hear me. Now hear me. I swear I just heard something. Like a voice. Make it louder, please. Can you say that again? I didn't hear you the first time. Can you do it again? I heard that. Yeah. My EMF meter just stopped. Would you like us to go over to that other room? We'll go over there right now and speak to whoever is in there. Standing over there, we're coming over to you. William, I don't know if this is your room, but this is where River and Nick had come in here and had spoken to you. By any chance, do you need any help from us as well? I already gave you an offer. I don't know if you heard me down the hallway into the other room, but if you did, that offer is still with us. Is there anything you'd like to say? Anything more? That was an instant. I don't know what that noise was. Can somebody give us a sign? Whoever is here with us.
Thank you. That Sleep wasn't up. you, Sky? No. Was that in the bathroom? It sounded like someone like flicked the pyramid. Yeah. I'm gonna hit a light switch again too. Oh yeah. I make a I loud click. Earlier. You touching the light switches? Can you turn one on? Um, I, my camera just went really blurry. Is that a knock inside the... Yeah. William? Yes? Can you please walk over here? Or Anne? If you are able to? Now, I understand that it may be using lots of your energy to communicate with us and talk to us about maybe what had happened to you or why you were here. And I do want to thank you for giving us a lot of the information and using a lot of your energy to do so. But if you'd like some more energy, all you have to do is hold on to any of these objects here around us. Or what these two guys are holding. You should be able to get lots of energy out of that as well. Stairs. Stairs. Can you hold on to any of our objects that are here? We've got one right here on the table. I've got one in my hand. And then you have two over there next to Nick. Any of those, you can give us a sign. Use your energy. That was a knock. I don't know. That. Oh no. Not that. Riff? Mm. Was that in the hallway? That's right there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounded like it came from right in front of my door. You guys still here? We hear footsteps, we hear noises. Please tell me you have enough energy to hold on to one of these objects again. It just got pretty silent mm -hmm. with our devices. My EMF hasn't gone off Yeah. neither of the rim pods. Scott? Yeah? Is that you? No. That was loud. I heard it too. Why it's microphones pointed that way? I'm so confused. We started hearing so much noise over here, and we come over here. This happens quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You guys notice that? Mm -hmm. A lot of times we'll go. There they are. Come over here, please. Has it been the same light every time? No. Mm -mm. Is it is it leading us downstairs, or out there? I'm gonna set this right here. You come over here, all you have to do is walk through. You don't even need to come next to us. You don't need to. But we do know that you were right there. You can walk over here. We keep hearing you walking up and down this hallway. It's totally fine. We understand. We like it. But if you can, just come into this room. All you have to do is walk over that object. You don't really need to do anything. Or footsteps coming towards me. Oh, you sitting in there. Just come walk in here, please. How did you know what? I knew that was gonna happen. My 
my head just started hurting yeah. too. Like I felt like something was no, going to happen. I felt like weirdness over here and I look over and notice Nick has his head down and that rim pod goes up. Yeah, like my head just started hurting super bad out That's of nowhere. Weird. That just chilled my ass up. Thank you. Ooh, that made me like shaky. That was, that was weird. You alright? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was weird. I straight felt that. That just went off. You in here? I keep hearing like distant talking. I do too. That you, Sky? No, that was above me. That was above you? Yeah, I heard that like in the ceiling. Just lit up green right in front of his door. <laughs> Are you? You can go and talk to Skylar if you'd like. He's in there by himself. He's a nice guy. Do not be afraid of him. You don't need to be afraid of us either. This is what we do. We come to houses and we speak to people who are confused and who had passed away, unfortunately, and are stuck in a situation, in a, in a location, a home that most of the time don't want to be stuck and they want to move on, but they need help because they don't know how to move on. And this is what we are here to do. If you don't want to leave, we like to have conversations and give you that opportunity to speak to somebody and Tell us something that you have not been able to tell anybody in a long time. We are going to go downstairs for our last round. If you are ready to go, you're ready to leave up here, being up here in, this, in these rooms, then you can come down with us. Sky? I just farted my bed. <coughs> that scared me. It made me jump. I just farted. Sorry. Did you shit yourself? No. You sure? You should probably check. That one was a bit too violent. Nope. Who's down here with us? Can you please give us a name? Well, I'm nowhere near it. I literally just... It's you, Ann. Just remember, we understand, we know that you're sticking with us, we know that you're here with us, but if there is anybody else down here, we heard you, or we think we heard you walking up and down the steps. So could you maybe give us a sign that that was you? Walk up to that object again, sitting right in front of River and Skylar. Give us a sign that you are here. And don't be afraid. Did anyone follow us down here? Anyone that we were speaking to earlier upstairs? Are you down here with us now? If you are, Heard that? If you are, can you try to make a noise for us to let us know? Oops. Hang on. Heard that. Are you kidding me? I can't. Do you hear that, Sky? Yeah, I heard that. I can't above us be like a And that's why I was saying.
Can you I tell can us where that noise is coming from? Oh. My thing went off and then that one went off. I know you jumped, you made me jump. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't either. Thank you for giving us all these signs. We really appreciate it. Yeah, it just keeps happening. Is that upstairs? Is there any way you can come closer to us? Maybe walk in front of this little triangle we have on the table? It's blinking blue. No way. Yes. No way. Thank you. That's Thank you. That's freaking crazy. So you are standing here with us. Yes. Guys. Did anybody see that? Nobody I, caught that. I got it. I saw it. Can you tell us your name? Who's down here with us? It's just went off. Got it. Is this Anne that's down here with us? Did you follow us? Or how about is this William? William, is that you? like a step down that was really weird mm -hmm. like like someone went or, oh you know, that was legit like heel toe that was right legit wait is this the are you like that yeah it was in the doorway to your right yeah too. no that was legit i could me just being right here guys wait wait wait, wait. there's a whisper over there Are you coming closer to us? You know we're here to talk to you, is that why? We want to try to help you. If you want to leave, we want to help you leave. In order to do that, we need you to agree with us. Can you let us know that you do want to leave? Because we can show you how. We're actually Because we can show you how. We're actually. Did you hear that? What? It's coming. I don't know. I don't know how to explain what that was. It sounded like in my ear. Oh, Skylar got his first ear whisper. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you so much. Lots of noises, for sure. They make me very uncomfortable. Hmm. And I'm all looking around because, like, they got this door and, like, and nothing I, behind it. I have the worst of it. I can see everything. I actually already placed another device. Did you hear that? Somebody just dragged something. That was a full drag. I have another device. It's on a table to my right. Is there any way you can touch that over there? It hasn't gone off once yet. Shh. Did you just hear that? What did you hear? That was a, like a loud creak. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> why did... You gotta see why his face is like, oh my god, dude. How did we miss that, bro? Wyatt, hmm. how did we miss that? Me and you were literally up there. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't it wasn't like enough. It's just like, it's gotta be just certain spirits that just don't, don't want to interact with us. Like, I don't know. Please hold on to this object that's here in my hand. All you need to do is come up to me right here. Thank you. Is that yours too? I think so. I heard it. Hello. 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 Hi. 
Is this Anne? Is this the man that people see? Spike these objects. Do something. As a yes. Go on the right side of that pyramid. If it's a yes. Not one thing was mine. Mine, mine went off too again. And it went to the right. To the red. Thank you so much. That's the wrong object. Hiding. Hiding. Did you hear that? Slide. Is that you? It was like right there. No, I, I didn't say anything. It sounded like. Wait, that's not either of you. Does it sound yeah, like I that? Hear that's it sounded of... like that. Yeah, it wasn't me. I hear that. Is yours going off? Yeah. yeah. Can you hold on to mine again? She's yeah. a whistle. Yeah. Or a yeah. scream. Was that in here? She's yeah. a whistle. Yeah. Or a yeah. scream. Was that in here? Ooh, it happened again. Someone walking around here? Who is it? I just heard one behind me. I thought Nick was still standing. Mm -mm. I think I heard that too. I just wanted to say thank Wasn't you. I just want to say thank you so much for everything, giving us those words that you've given us, showing us that you're here, trusting us enough to have a talk with you. We really appreciate that. I'm gonna give this opportunity, this option for anybody who'd like it and will take it. If you hold on to either one of us when we do leave this place tonight, you are welcome to. What this is going to do is give you some guidance so that you can leave this area and all you need to do is be strong enough and you need to go to the light. Now, I am going to say that since we are giving you permission to hold on to us so that we can give you that guidance, you do not have any permission. You cannot go home with us. But as soon as we do leave this door, It almost seemed no, or they're just standing on either or side. It almost seemed like it said no. You're still here. It means we're still here. Well, our only other option. And I really enjoy this. I like opening the door and seeing if they want to leave. I love doing that. I, I love it. I'm not going to lie. I, I was going to suggest that too. I feel like the REM pod is probably our best bet for the doorway part. Yeah, let's do it's it. It's happened a couple times, and it happens and it doesn't. Okay, are you ready to go? We're... Yes. Okay, we're gonna go. You hold on to one of us. We're gonna leave the front door. You let go, release, and go to the light. Like Ryan was saying, what we're gonna do now is one of our favorite ways to help spirits. And we're gonna lead them to the door and ask them to follow us. When we get there, we're gonna open the door and we're gonna place a REM pod right in the doorway. And as soon as they pass through, we'll be able to tell because the lights will turn on right as soon as something passes by. So let's do it. Okay, I think what I'm gonna try this time
I just described the process to. If you are holding on, if anybody's holding on, I'm gonna step over and this will show us that you are leaving. So hold on to me. This is the time you let go. Use all of your energy, everything you have, whatever you've never used before, use everything. And I believe that you belong to the light, so go to the light. Me and Skylar just heard more of you. We heard steps behind us. So if there's anyone else who wishes to leave, we've opened the door, and outside of here is a bright light. You have to find that, but first, you have to leave here. All you have to do is walk this way. And I'm gonna do the same thing Ryan did. I'm gonna step over, and you can follow me, and you cannot follow me home. From there, you're free. Feel free to come. You're free to go. We've opened the door for you. What was that? We are your guidance. This is how you make it. You're free. You get it. That's what I keep hearing behind me. I keep hearing someone walking right behind me. feels a little bit better. I always like this method because like we've done it a couple times and it didn't work. It always feels super good when this does work. And you never know. I mean, it could could be, could not. All I know is I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. This is the last time Skyler's gonna be with us for a little while. He's gotta go back to Germany, unfortunately, and it's gonna be pretty sad that he's gonna be gone. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next week. Peace. All in all, we definitely feel like this had become a great investigation to add to our file. We definitely didn't feel any type of negativity. Everything there was very positive. I just feel like maybe a couple of the spirits were a little bit stuck and were ready to move on. So we had definitely attempted to try and give them a little push. 